Do you find it frustrating to differentiate yourself in your business when there are other people offering similar services and products? Well, it's a common challenge faced by new business owners and also seasoned entrepreneurs that have been in business for many years. But it is possible to stand out from the crowd when you can define and articulate your unique value proposition. What is it that you can do that no one else can? Well, keep watching because in this video, we're going to explore effective ways to stand out in your business, set yourself apart, and make your business shine, even if there are other people that are doing what you're doing. I'm Lydia Lee. I'm the work reinvention coach and solopreneur strategist at Screw the Cubicle. For almost a decade, I've been helping people gain freedom in their work and lifestyle choices by helping them create meaningful businesses designed from their genius zone. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to be the first to know when brand new videos drop on this channel every month. When you look at the things that might differentiate yourself from other people, it's a great idea to look at things that you possess that are beyond just the topics or subjects that you teach, share, or educate people on. Now, lots of people might have a similar business idea, niche, even topics that you might talk about, but there are certain things that can't be duplicated. So I want to talk about these three things right now. The first thing is your life experience and your story. Literally, no one has lived a life exactly as yours. And on top of that, have the learning lessons and perspectives that you have, right? So there are certain things that are unique in the imprint of you as a human being on things like what you have overcame, what you've learned that has shaped your world, which allows you to come into the second piece of your imprint or unique imprint, which is your perspective and your approach, how we live our lives, what we see, what we observe, what we experience and learn from gives us a sort of lens in the world that helps us to see what's important to us and how we might process certain things differently from other people. So with your experiences, you're going to master, you've mastered the way of looking at the world differently, right? Maybe you have taken on certain tools or resources that have supported you to become a better person, to solve problems in a unique way. And that combination of different tools resources, influences that you've gathered to become your perspective can certainly be the very thing that differentiates your approach in solving a similar problem that other people may be offering as well in their business. And what is also going to be important to articulate to your audience that might set you apart from other people are the values that are important to you. What philosophies do you live by? What are the belief systems that you really care about that helps people navigate the solutions or the solutions to the problem in a more easeful way, in a, in a way that maybe aligns more with their value system? And that's what's going to help them pick you because they like what you're saying. They believe in the same things versus someone else that may look at that problem and solve that problem in a very different approach. And lastly, no one else can duplicate the variety and the sort of packaging of the skills and the expertise and the history of experiences that you might bring to the table, right? And so those varieties of skills, um, especially if you're multi-passionate, if you're like me, I don't like to choose just one thing to share with people. I like using the combo of all that I am to be able to offer an even stronger thing for people when it comes to my coaching or my educational course programs, right? So really think about what are those, what is that toolkit you bring to helping your clients? That is not just one obvious thing that you do, right? What is that combination of your intuitiveness? Some of the things that might be what I call hidden values or invisible values, right? That people kind of feel but not see right away. But that combination of your personality, your skill sets, the way that you communicate even about the you know, problem to be solved for your clients, that also is your unique imprint that can set you apart from your competition. Now, if you're struggling with understanding what are the varieties of gifts that you might bring to the table, one, uh, one of the great exercises I give my clients is to start going back into um, kind of memory lane and remembering things like what your colleagues, your old bosses, your friends and family, your community may have mentioned to you in the past of what they appreciate about you. What's that one thing that they're like, I come to you for that? Or this is the way you make me feel when I confide in you for something, right? Sometimes our best gifts are our most hidden from us because we do it so naturally and it's so easy for us to be that person so in our natural tendencies. We don't put weight on that. And that's something that we have to acknowledge so that that's the thing that we 
you know, that's our superpower. So that's the thing that we acknowledge and put out front as our value proposition as well, right? As part of our services. So when you're able to identify those unique imprints that people can't duplicate, running back, running back to it again, your life experience and your story, right? First one, your perspective and your approach, and then the variety of gifts you bring to the table to help your clients, right? You can get these three confirmed for you and acknowledge those parts of you, then it's where you're going to be able to stand out, even if there's other people that are doing what you're doing. Another powerful way to create a unique value proposition for your clients is to spend time creating a unique experience for your clients. Now, when I think about services or products, right, especially services, because it's a human to human interaction, whether it's a course creation that you've had or a coaching service that you've created, right? This is an experience that people are buying, not just the content, the curriculum and the topics, because that's easily duplicated. They can read a book, they can watch YouTube videos like you're doing right now. What is it the thing that is gonna make them invest, right? in the process that you're creating, right? People buy systems, they buy a roadmap. That is what's gonna sell your services rather than just focusing on all the topics that maybe other people might also be teaching, right? So the way you design your services is how you deliver your unique experience, okay? So how will your clients get to the results that you're promising them in your services and it will be infused by the steps and the value systems and those philosophies that you care about that comes from your unique perspective, right? And how does that simplify the process for your clients, right? Most of the time when your clients come to you, they've spent hours, if not years and months, right? Trying to figure it out all on their own. So they need to trust that you have a roadmap that can take them from where they're at right now to where they want to go in a way that's going to feel simple, it's going to feel effective, and they're going to get there unscathed, right? Not wasting time, wasting money, more energy on the goal that they're trying to achieve. So your service should have a roadmap and a process to be able to share with your clients how you get them through those problems to be solved and jobs to be done in what they're coming to you for so that they truly see how you do that differently from other people. And that comes from your value systems. For example, in my business, there's lots of people that teach other people how to launch businesses. But one of my unique value propositions is that I solve one part of the problem that other courses don't do, which is helping people figure out what is the right business I should be starting that's meaningful, that's profitable and purposeful, that is also coming from who I am today, that I can use my existing strengths and skills and not only that, right, to really launch an authentic business that feels human, that feels grounded and not manipulative, you know, and trickery style, right, of what we sometimes see in the online business. So my value systems of, you know, really caring about people, really helping people develop good work so that it's easy to sell that work rather than rely on just shiny marketing tactics. That's a unique value proposition that came from my own pain of learning from the wrong people and doing things that didn't feel genuine to me in business, right? And that roadmap of launching a business will be slightly different with me than potentially someone else that might be focused on other values and philosophies. So being able to not only showcase the roadmap and process, but showcase why you do what, why you do how you do it in a way, right? In those different milestones up that journey, right? For your clients, that's what's really going to help your client believe in your system and set you apart as well from the competitors. So in this video, you've heard a lot about why it's so important to create a unique framework and also create and design a unique process and roadmap so that your clients really know how you take them through to the journey of receiving results. Now, there's going to be other people out there that promise similar results, right? Launch a business, get your best-selling book out, whatever's the goal, right? People will offer similar services. But what is going to be different that helps your client choose you instead of someone else is when you're clear enough and confident enough to explain the process you take and why those philosophies help to get help them get to the goal in a much more simplified, easeful, right, in value systems that don't betray 
who they are, right? And their belief system. So that deeper context of your process is really, really important to articulate. So when I teach my students in my flagship course, the 90 Launch Academy, how to create this framework, we really start with first identifying what is their genius zone work? What is that meaningful sweet spot? What I call the sweet spot for meaningful work, right? That is really true to their personality, to their life experience, to the things that they are so naturally good at doing. And when we get that recipe, those ingredients, right? For what it is that makes them stand out, what makes them special in their sort of secret sauce of skills, that's what's gonna help us to understand, right? How to infuse those skills and strengths into the solutions that we're creating for their clients. And we also do a lot of deep work in market research, which is conversing with the very people that we're looking to help and really understanding what their journey is like, not what we think their journey is like, but where they're at in their emotions, right? And where they feel in terms of their limiting beliefs of what they're capable of or what their fears might be so that we can really take that research and data from the horse's mouth, so to speak, right? To validate that the solutions we're creating are really gonna hit the mark for what people are really looking to invest in. So that can have this happy marriage when you do both, right? When you identify what, right? The first track of what is it that you're good at? What's your genius and work? And marry it with what the market demands, what the market is looking for, is actively seeking to solve. Then you're gonna have another sweet spot of a great offer right? That's how you create a powerful offer, not just from guessing, but really communicating with your ideal clients to figure out how you're going to tailor those solutions, what your skill sets are like in order to meet them where they're at as well, right? There's so much nuance in how people view their problem. So we want to be able to do our due diligence even before we launch an offer to make sure that we have those market research conversations. So, if you are yourself interested in figuring out what your genius zone work is, how you can infuse that into a powerful offer and do deep market research and really know what your clients want to buy, I would love to invite you to join my 90 day launch Academy program, um, where I help you to cut through the noise of all the people that might do what you do in the marketplace and really find your positioning of your best work so that you can attract your soulmate clients that are going to love working with you. And you are also going to feel really proud of the work that you're offering to them. I hope to see you in that program. Now I would love to hear from you. What's one key takeaway that you got from this video that helped you to identify or even just start thinking a little bit about what your unique value proposition is, what's that unique imprint that no one can duplicate, even if there's other people that do what you do, when you really think about some of the things that you can stand out from that is in your unique genius zone, your experiences, your life story, your perspective and your approach, and your unique suite of skills that you might bring to the table that you may not see going on out there in the world. I want you to share it with us in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you want to dive deeper into some free trainings that I'm offering, um, you might want to check out um, my workshop that I'll set uh, the link on the cards as well as on the descriptor underneath this video, uh, which is my free training on the four keys to launch a business you love, where I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to go from fuzzy idea of a business or not knowing which focus of a business to start to understanding the foundations that you're going to be building confidently to launch a business you love and finally live the life that you want to live. Go and check that out and I will see you in that training. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was valuable to you and I'll see you in the next one.